Welcome to Inspired here on Fullerton College Television. My name is Vincent Garcia, and today's show Inspired is about some of the truly inspired students here at Fullerton College. With me in the studio, I have Ryan Osborne. Ryan, what made you get into the sports world? Well, uh, I went to my first Kings game at a little over one years old. 1998, fabulous forum. Bad day for the Kings, meltdown on Manchester. But um, ever since then, I've been a I've been a Kings fan ever since, and I've loved sports ever since. At what point in your life uh, did you want to get into sports broadcasting? I'd say around 11, I knew I wanted to be a sports broadcaster, but it, you have to go even back farther. As a two, three-year-old, I'd be playing in the living room with a hockey stick and a ball and calling my own little hockey game in my head, throwing myself in the penalty box. Uh, but yeah, around 11, 11 years old, I said, this is what I want to do. What do you enjoy about it? Um, it's sports. <laughs> well, that's where you start off. It's sports, and um, you don't really have to think as much. It's not you're not psychoanalyzing things. You don't have to overthink it. Um, you just see what the game is, and you tell the people what it is that you're seeing on the field. What routines do you do to get yourself prepared for a game? Um, like in real estate, there are three things that you need. Uh, but in broadcasting, it's study, study, and more study. Um, really, you hear of some sports broadcasters, mainly baseball broadcasters, who have a lot of superstitions and everything. Uh, that's not me. It's just study until deadline is that I have to go to the game. What are some difficulties about being in sports broadcasting or being a sports broadcaster, to be specific? Um, the fact that you have to know every game that you're going to broadcast. You can't just go in and start talking, ad-libbing everything, because even though that's good, you can be improvisational. It only gets you so far before the viewing audience realizes this guy knows nothing. There's a lot of stations here in Southern California. There's Fox Sports. There's um, Sportsnet LA for the Dodgers. There's Time Warner Cable Sports Network with the Lakers. There's AMA 30 for the Angels radio station. But what is your dream station that you really want to shoot for? I would have to say Fox Sports West, being a Dodger fan, Clipper fan, Kings fan growing up, uh, that's a station that I mainly watched and uh, it, it really sticks in your head. What is what is actually is your go-to sport? I mean, you talk about volleyball and then you talk about there's other sports that uh, like football, but you also brought up hockey, but what's the main sport you want to basically want to broadcast your go-to? I would want to broadcast hockey. That would be my that would be my living. Once I got there, I'm good. I'm set. But um, so far, I haven't been able to. And right now, it would be basketball because I love the pace. How, how quick is the basketball pace, actually? It's fast, uh, especially with Fullerton College. They get up and down the floor. They play tenacious defense. And their offense is within 15 seconds or less. You, you've done volleyball here at Fullerton College. What is... How important is that sport to understand and know when everything goes is going on? Because it's a it's a back and forth game, especially. Yeah, it's actually extremely important. Most people, you'll ask them, "What do you know about volleyball?" They can tell you, "Set, spike," and that's about it. And that doesn't really carry you through a broadcast. You have to know what a back set is. You have to know what strategies go into a volleyball game. What the what the major setters are. Who are the blockers? What's the back line? What's a libero? You have to make sure that you know what those things are. As we take a quick break, check out this commercial produced entirely by f television and film students here at Fullerton College.
Welcome back to Inspired. I'm Vincent Garcia, and we're talking with Ryan Osborne, one of our inspirational students here at Fullerton College. Ryan, who is your favorite broadcast partner? Well, I would have to add an S at the end, broadcast partners. Um, my instructor, Corey Nalen, and also Mark Pavlovich. Uh, two different styles. Mark Pavlovich, Woody, funny, there's always a joke in there, helps keep the flow going when it's a blowout. And then Corey Nalen, who's always right there, making sure that everything flows as you keep going on. Since you just said that Mark and Corey are good partners, what are some traits of bad partners? Well, luckily, I haven't run into that yet. Um, but theoretically, it would be someone who interrupts uh, his partner makes sh and, and really takes the, the attention away from the game that they are broadcasting. How big is chemistry in broadcasting with it, partners? It's huge. It's it's a really good word, chemistry, because you have to make sure that both people know what the other person is going to do and they fill out the roles that the other person doesn't necessarily have. One guy can be a little bit more choppy, the other guy can be a little bit more smooth, but you put them together and it sounds like uh, one very flowing broadcast. So it's almost just as similar as, sport, as sports chemistry with teams, correct? Easily. Like, uh, for example, Golden State Warriors. Uh, you have Thompson and Curry. Curry's the, pu the pure shooter, and then you have Thompson who is able to go inside and has the mid-range jumper. How did the coaches show start? That started as a thought back in uh, last February. Um, Corey Nalen and Mark Pavlovich, who are the voices of Fullerton College football, they went to the coaches and said, look, we have an idea to get some more exposure for your program. Uh, what do you think? The coaches were like, sure, you know, that's fine with us, and since they do have that great program, huge history at, here at Fullerton College in football, dating back almost 100 years. Um, so they said yes, so once weekly I went out, I talked with head coach Tim Burns, and really I want to thank Tim Burns for going on the air with me because I could have any question whatsoever and he would answer it. Besides the coaches, are there any other people that appear on it? Yeah, we've had the athletic director, Scott Giles, uh, the head athletic trainer, uh, Juan Cuevas. We've had some parents on there, too. Um, photographer, Ricardo Zapata. Anyone who is relevant to the football program is going to be on there. And mainly, also, we have players on there because that's who we're trying to promote. Without players, you don't have a football program. When did you start working with Fred Fletcher Fierro on the radio? Well, Fred has... Uh, <laughs> He's been in the studio for a while, and whenever I would go in to edit the coach's show, uh, he would be there doing his show that he has on KVPK. And um, eventually he was just like, you know what? You're the sports guy. Why don't we have a sports segment? I was like, you know what? Sure, let's do that. So we started doing that once weekly, just mainly an overview of what is going on in Fullerton College sports. And that's been going on for about five or six weeks. Sounds like you're having a really good time. Or, um any last things, going back to uh, Fred, what do you, really quick, what do you guys like to discuss? Any sports talk? Specifically Dodgers and baseball um, and whether or not Ethan will save us a donut. Ethan Morse, our editor back at the studio. All right. Thank you, Ryan Osborne, for sharing your inspirational thoughts and ideas with us on another episode of Inspired. Well, that's our show today. I'd like to thank you for stopping by Forts and College Television. My name is Vincent Garcia, saying don't only be inspired, but be an inspiration to others. Really, so that I don't have more like.